California. Nice. No, I, I love the beach. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right yeah i like to just hang out with palm trees while i work i have really good internet here apparently exactly you know i totally understand <laughs> so let's dive into it so before someone selects an office productivity suite you know what should they look for and even like explain a little bit what is office productivity suites nowadays what does that actually mean now so good question i think what it means nowadays when they say suite it comes with a lot of different applications. It comes with what they call multiple SKUs, which are different licenses for different applications that come in a suite of products. Um, so for example, you might get the email service, you might get a file and doc sharing cloud-based platform. Um, you're gonna get a uh, video conferencing and meetings platform with a lot of your different office suite products. Um, and you're gonna get a, a lot of other file and sheet sharing or collaborative environment applications. These are all different applications within one suite provided by one vendor. And so um, I think that's what comes into your decision when you're deciding what suite is best for you. And there's a lot more that goes into it, but, uh, but really that's where uh, the differentiators start to, to take hold is what for your business um, whether it's small, mid, or enterprise, is the best fit? What is the best fit for all of your users? And I think uh, a big consideration when most people make that decision is um, overall uh, competency mm -hmm. of the current solution and where they and the solution that they want to uh, go into or migrate to, and then and then overall awareness. So there are people who have never had an office suite who are just building a business or who are just investing for the first time. And then there are others who have a lot of experience with either a Microsoft or a Google and are making a transition from one to the other. So it, it could vary. Gotcha. And so when you're talking about, uh, you know, team competency and awareness, uh, so do business owners need to like give their employees a test to figure out, you know, which one works best? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I wouldn't so say so much a test, but I would say that as a business owner or, or as an IT manager, whoever's kind of overseeing or helping that, that department or group of people, you may or you should have some sort of idea of what interface or what environment, and typically it's going to be Microsoft or Google. Uh, you you want to have an idea of what your users are comfortable with. You know, where, where is their mind uh, fixated to, and it comes to a Microsoft environment or a Google environment. And that's similar to the, the age old um, debate of Apple or Android, right? You know, you have two different mindsets and you have two different people who like one OS operating system or the other. And um, typically a small business is going to flock towards Google. Typically, a business who is growing above 250 individuals or more is going to flock towards Microsoft. That is not to say that you can't implement Google in an enterprise. Um, I work for an enterprise company, AppSmart, and we use Gmail. So there's the counter to my own statement. At the same time, though, um, Microsoft has a lot more robust applications and platforms for the mid-market or enterprise user. Um, and I would say that uh, the reason I say typically enterprise or mid-market customers go that direction is that uh, there are less limitations in user groups and user amounts in the Microsoft suite as opposed to, to Google. Gotcha. And so when they're looking at, so you're basically saying that look at the entire integrations are everything that's involved with one application over another before you select which one you started to go through. Is that correct? Yeah, I think that's a good point. I think that you really, what will also help you make the decision because I'll be very direct that a lot of people already have Google or Microsoft, you know, you're in, in today's day and age, you have one or the other, whether you're at home or you're at a business, you're, you're operating in one suite already. Let's just, let's just say that. And if that's the case, I think that the integrations, the plugins, what else are you doing outside of that, that email window, you know, in terms of your phone system, 
possibly your CRM, your customer retention management tool. So I think when you're making the decision, if you want to make a change, you have to consider what else you're doing outside of your office productivity suite that might be a better fit for a Google or therefore a Microsoft. And, and that will help you narrow down your decision to know is Microsoft going to open up and allow me to, um, to kind of scale with all of the other uh, applications or systems that I have going on in my business? Or is Google going to allow me to be a little bit more flexible and scale and possibly um, be a little bit more lean in budget? Those are the things you want to look at in, in totality and in a big picture before you decide what uh, Office Productivity Suite is best. Perfect. Well, thank you, Nick. Really appreciate it. And thank you for your time today. And we'll make sure that we dive into more of the questions that I'm receiving from small business and even enterprise customers and those individuals who want to either make that move. Perfect. Thank you, Kendall. I appreciate it.